start off this week's grow weather forecast with a check of the drought monitor. Some unfortunate changes on the drought monitor this week. Now last week around 91% of the state of Nebraska was not included in a drought category. That's now 38% roughly for this week and you can see a large area of Nebraska now included in that abnormally dry category. It stretches out to western Nebraska, southern Nebraska, even central eastern Nebraska into northern Nebraska as well. Anything in this lighter brown shading, also some moderate drought in that lighter brown shading. You can see that in the Panhandle and far northern Nebraska starting to see some moderate drought as well. Now Kansas, some worsening drought conditions there this week as we are seeing abnormally dry conditions now in northern Kansas. Now last week, Roughly around 53% of Kansas was not included in a drought category. This week we're looking at roughly around 37% of the state not included in a drought category. And unfortunately, within the near future, not looking at any great precipitation chances. So it looks like we will continue to see at least some abnormally dry conditions within the next week or so. But let's talk about what we can expect in the future because we do have our outlooks for temperatures and precipitation. So starting off with temperatures one month out, right down the middle of the country, equal chances. Anything not shaded looking at those equal chances. While off to the east, looking at the potential for below normal temperatures for one month out. And then off to our west, looking at the potential for above normal temperatures for one month out. Looking a little farther out, still a good part of Nebraska and Kansas looking at temperatures in equal chances for temperatures, but we are looking at that chance for above normal temperatures stretching off the east coast uh, down into the south, even off to the west coast parts of that area, looking at above normal temperatures a possibility, while parts of the northern U.S. could see some below normal temperatures averaging out for three months out. In terms of precipitation, a good part of Nebraska looking at the potential for some below normal precipitation. You can see that stretching even into central Nebraska, eastern Nebraska, and a good part of Kansas looking at that as well. And then anything not shaded, looking at those equal chances. So the other part of Nebraska, looking at those equal chances far northwest Kansas, looking at equal chances. You can see that below normal precipitation for one month out stretching down into parts of Texas. That's where we're looking at that potential continuing and then off to the West Coast as well while we're looking at equal chances up the East Coast. Now three months out, equal chances for a good part of Nebraska and all of Kansas, but the Panhandle could see some above normal precipitation averaging out three months and you can see that off to the West, excuse me, off to the West and to the East and then parts of the South. Still looking at the potential for below normal precipitation for three months out. That includes Texas as well, a good part of Texas, and then off to the west as well. Let's take a look at our almanac for this week. Normal high 38 degrees, normal low 18 degrees. Our week ahead average high 50 degrees, and then our week ahead average low 10 degrees above that normal with 28 degrees. And our proverb for this week, no weather is ill if the wind is still. That's a check of your GROW weather forecast for this week. More of GROW coming up next. Find NTV's Grow on social media. Make sure to tag us. Farmers sound the alarm on trade, specifically NAFTA. Here's more from the Nebraska Farm Bureau Convention. Which is my pocketbook, my checking account. Miles Ramsey listens to the experts. If we back out of NAFTA. With a new report showing the economic impact of a free trade deal with Canada and Mexico that President Trump has talked about withdrawing from. I've been concerned since the start, but now I have numbers to put with that concern. In that soybean value we included, An economist from Nebraska Farm Bureau says meat. Mexico is the top customer for Nebraska corn, and both countries are among the top five importers of Nebraska beef. Jay Rempe says NAFTA adds $32 per head of cattle and more than a dollar to each bushel of soybeans. And on the individual farm, that adds up in a big way. 
Phelps County uh, scored the highest with a per farm value of almost 55000 or a little over $55,000 per farm. Numbers they want policymakers to know. They say agriculture has been overlooked and they remain unsure of what the president's intentions are. What he means by better trade deals and what we think are, are good trade deals may not be the same thing. For Miles Ramsey of Kennesaw, these are numbers he plans to memorize and share with his congressman saying Nebraska needs free trade with its nearest neighbors, especially since the president killed the Asian trade deal. Well, I did not think we would get out of TPP without a plan B, and we did. And I'm afraid we might do the same thing with NAFTA, and we have to have a plan B or we need to modify what we have. And Senator Deb Fisher also speaking out about NAFTA. Fisher met this week with the Secretary of Commerce, emphasizing the value of the agreement to Nebraska. Earlier this week, she attended a meeting at the White House with President Trump, also talking about NAFTA. According to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, 91,000 Nebraska jobs are supported by NAFTA. Negotiations are ongoing. It's a new area that we're in. I admire women who come forward. Uh, and, and people need to be held accountable, and their responses need to be um, specific. I have good working relationships with all of my colleagues, and I'll continue to work hard, continue to develop good relationships with uh, Republican and Democrat senators in order to get good things done in the state of Nebraska. With a deadline approaching, Cattlemen push for changes to a new federal requirement they say puts animals at harm. Details next. My name is Trevor Kirkhoff. I'm Tanner. I'm Caleb Kirkhoff. Bailey, Landy, Tenna. Hi, I'm Weston Bonsack. Hi, my name is Mason Yonda, and you're watching Grow on NTV.